On February the 16th, 2008, the Cuban government released four political prisoners who were sent from the prison cells in Cuba to Madrid, Spain. Two of them worked as independent journalists before their arrest in March 2003, together with 73 other Cuban dissidents. Orlando Zapata Tamayo, a prisoner of conscience, he went on a hunger strike to protest the multiple constant beatings that he was suffering under, that he and other political prisoners have to deal with on a constant basis. So he did, went on a hunger strike, and after 80 days of being on a hunger strike, he passed away. On March 21st in Havana, Cuba, the Damas de Blanco, or Ladies in White, ended their marches commemorating the seventh anniversary of the Black Spring in Cuba, which took place in April of 2003, when they suffered the unjust incarceration of their husbands and sons. Cuba's president, Raul Castro, released 130 Cuban dissidents in the summer of 2010 in a deal facilitated by the Catholic Church. But dozens of prisoners remain behind bars, and the ladies in white say they'll continue to fight for their freedom. Cuba has released more than 2,500 prisoners under a New Year's amnesty announced last week. Cuba says it made the decision ahead of a visit from Pope Benedict scheduled for the spring. A Cuban human rights group says five and of an estimated 66 political prisoners were among those released. Wilmar Villar Mendoza, a 31-year-old Cuban dissident, died of pneumonia after a two-month-long hunger strike protesting his imprisonment in the island. Well-known dissident blogger Joanny Sanchez reacted to the news by tweeting, How many more have to die? How many more?